talk about the Wisconsin Badgers. The Wisconsin Badgers cracked the preseason top 25 despite new coaches and new players entering that program. Now the Badgers came in at number 19 following a year that transformed the football team. Wisconsin added head coach Luke Fickle and offensive coordinator Phil Longo in the offseason. Now they lost veteran quarterback Graham Mertz but gained Tanner Mordecai from SMU. Now all these changes will provide a fresh look to the Badgers when they open their season on September 2nd. Now a new this year, the Badgers will be featured right here on TMJ4. On October 14th, they'll take on Iowa. On October 28th, top ranked Ohio State travels to Camp Randall. And near the end of the season, Nebraska will be in Madison to take on Wisconsin. And once again, as we mentioned, all these games will be right here on TMJ4. Great news. Looking forward to the season. 542 right now up next here on TMJ4 News. Today we take a look at what a new study is saying about air pollution and its possible connection to dementia. Yeah, plus how the city of Milwaukee plans to have the most walkable downtown in the Midwest by 2040. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting time and a lot of people there for that. And here the Packers have the day off today ahead of their pr next preseason game tomorrow. They'll hit the field for joint practices with the New England Patriots. Now there's only a few weeks left before roster cut down day. Packers players at the bottom of the depth chart are looking for every opportunity to show what they can do. Now some players are trying to make an NFL roster that are free dra undrafted free agents. I would compare it to being a walk on in college. Um, you start from square one, you, you gotta, you just gotta find your way. Um, get in where you fit in, the best I could put it. What do you think you need to do to make this football team? Uh, just keep doing what I've been doing, you know, uh, blocking good, knowing my assignments, uh, helping out on special teams, you know, just keep doing stacking days, you know, being consistent. Now the Packers will have to cut down their roster from 90 to 53 by Tuesday, August 29th. They open the regular season on the road in Chicago on September 10th. And next up for the green and gold, a home preseason game on Saturday night. Once again, against the New England Patriots. You can catch all the action right here on TMJ4. Kickoff for that game is slated for seven at Lambeau. The time is now 6.48 and up next on TMJ4 News Today, Nike is... It's 5.02 and topping the news this morning. Late last night, a grand jury in Georgia returned 19 indictments in connection to the 2020 presidential election. One of those indicted is former President Donald Trump. Yeah, it's the fourth criminal case brought against Trump and the second this month alleging that he tried to interfere with the results of the vote. Now, the 98-page indictment lists 41 criminal counts in all. It cites a number of crimes that Trump and his associates associates allegedly committed, including falsely testifying to lawmakers that election fraud had occurred and urging state officials to violate their oaths of office by altering the election results. Now, all of the defendants were also charged with racketeering, which carries a penalty of up to 20 years in prison. Specifically, the participants in association took various actions in Georgia and elsewhere to block the counting of the votes of the presidential electors who were certified as the winners of Georgia's 2020 general election. Now, Wisconsin was one of those elsewhere locations mentioned in that indictment. The state came up 13 times in that 98 page document. Notable instances include the listing of acts committed by the charged group and their alleged attempt to install fake electors. For example, in Act 50, one of the lawyers charged was Kenneth Cheeseboro, who, quote, sent an email to Republican Party Chairman Brian Schimming with proposed language for documents to be used by Trump elector nominees in Wisconsin for the purpose of casting electoral votes, end quote. He is then listed again in the indictment. In Act 64, along with Rudy Giuliani, it reads, Cheeseboro met with Brian Schimming and discussed the December 14th, 2020 meeting of presidential elector nominees in Wisconsin. Now you can read the full indictment on our website at tmj4.com. Coming up at 530, we'll have further in-depth coverage of the latest indictment on former President Trump. Well, happening today, President Joe Biden is expected to highlight his administration's effort to grow the economy. He'll be making a visit to right here in Milwaukee in just a few hours. And our Sydney Orr is live outside the Inga team, a local energy com conversion company with a preview of the president's visit. Good morning, Sydney. 
Good morning. Well, right now we know that President Joe Biden is coming here to deliver remarks on how Bidenomics is investing in America to, as you said, grow the economy. Now, we also know that this visit is coming to our battleground state just one week ahead of the first Republican presidential primary debate. So far, eight candidates have met the criteria to appear on the stage at Pfizer Forum. Now, President Donald Trump still has not said whether he'll take part in the debate, but he has indicated he'll make a decision sometime this week. Now, ahead of the president's visit, Wisconsin GOP Chairman Brian Schimming released a statement which in part reads, no matter how many times Biden visits our state, he won't be able to con Wisconsin voters into believing they are better off now than three years ago. Now, but now President Biden will make his remarks here in Milwaukee around 1 o'clock this afternoon. But for now, at Inga Team, I'm Sydney or TMG4 News. Yeah, something we will have live coverage of. Thank you, Sydney. The teen killed during a Milwaukee police pursuit has been identified by the medical examiner's office as Jamelia.